Logarithmic function. How are logarithms and exponentials related? What are they? Logarithms are how many of this number do we multiply to get that number using powers. Exponentials are functions such that y is equal to a raised to the x, where a is a constant greater than zero. Y helps to measure different magnitudes, including earthquakes and pH balances. Interesting fact, guinea pigs have 14 toes. Four toes for each paw in the front, three toes for each in the back but they can be polydactyl. Now, let's take a look at the definition of log with base a. Let a be a positive real number different from one. The logarithm of x with base a is y is equal to log of x with base a if and only if x is equal to a raised to the y for every x greater than zero and every real number y. Let's put those words in a drawing. So the base of the log is the base of the exponential. The input of the log is the output of the exponential. The output of the log is the input or the exponent of the exponential. Next, let's take a look at the theorem logarithmic functions are one to one. The logarithmic function with base a is one to one. Thus the following equivalent conditions are satisfied for positive real numbers x sub one and x sub two. Statement one is, if the inputs don't equal each other, then the outputs don't equal each other. Statement 2 is a contrapositive of statement 1, which is, if the outputs equal each other, then the inputs equal each other. Let's take a look at two definitions. Definition of logarithm. Log of x is equal to log of x with base 10 for every x greater than 0. And the definition of natural logarithm. Natural log of x is equal to log of x with base e for every x greater than 0. Now we have all the information we need. Let's take a look at the examples we're going to discuss in today's video. Let's take a closer look at example one. Let's read the steps. Step one, use the input as the output. Step two, use the base as the base. Step three, use the output as the power. Now, let's read the question. Change the logarithmic function to exponential form. Let's start with a. Log of 25 with base five is equal to two. Now we can remember the outputs and inputs change places when we convert, and if that doesn't help, we can always draw an arrow from the base to the output, in this case, five to two. The five will be the base of the exponential, and two will be the power. And we set that equal to the last number in our variable we haven't used, 25. So our exponential is five squared is equal to 25, and that is example 1a. Now, let's move on to b. Log of y is equal to 13w. Let's draw an arrow from the base to the output. Whoa, where is the base? That's right, the base is 10. And we don't write that because it is the most common because our number system goes by 10. Now, let's draw the arrow from the base to the output. In this case, 10 to 13w. The 10 will be the base of the exponential and 13w will be the power. And we set that equal to the last number and our variable we haven't used, y. So our exponential is 10 raised to the power of 13w is equal to y. And that is example 1b. Now, let's move on to c. Natural log of 3p is equal to negative 2. Let's draw an arrow from the base to the output. Whoa, where is the base? That's right, the base is e. And we don't write that because natural log is a special case of logarithms where the base is always e. Now, let's draw that arrow from the base to the output. In this case, e to negative 2. The e will be the base of the exponential, and negative 2 will be the power. And we set that equal to the last number and our variable we haven't used, 3p. So our exponential is e to the negative 2 is equal to 3p. And that is example 1c. Now, let's move on to d. Natural log of z is equal to 3y plus 7. Let's draw an arrow from the base to the output. Whoa, where's the base? That's right, the base is e. And we don't write that because natural log is a special case of logarithms where the base is always e. Now, let's draw the arrow from the base to the output. In this case, e to 3y plus 7. The e will be the base of the exponential, and 3y plus 7 will be the power. 
and we set that equal to the last number and our variable we haven't used, z. So our exponential is e raised to the power of 3y plus 7 is equal to z, and that is example 1d. Let's move on to example 2. Now, let's read the question. Change the exponential function to logarithmic form. Our steps have changed. Let's read them. Step 1, use the power as the output. Step 2, use the base as the base. Step 3, use the output as the input. How do we think the steps have changed? That's right, they're in reverse. Let's start with a. 10 to the x is equal to 10,000. Now we can remember the outputs and inputs change places when we convert, and if that doesn't work, let's check the log form. Luckily for us, the base remains the same, in this case 10, and our power, x, is the new output. Now we can place in the last number and or variable we haven't used, 10,000. Let's verify. Let's draw the arrow from the base to the output, and set that equal to the input. We have our given, so the log form is correct. Remember. We don't need to write down the base, since it is 10, and that is example 2a. Now, let's move on to b. 7 raised to the power of 2x is equal to 2y plus 1. Luckily for us, the base remains the same, in this case, 7, and our power, 2x, is the new output. Now we can place in the last number and or variable we haven't used, 2y plus 1. Let's verify. Let's draw that arrow from the base to the output, and set that equal to the input. We have our given, so the log form is correct, and that is example 2b. Now, let's move on to c. e raised to the power of 3k is equal to negative 4. Luckily for us, the base remains the same, in this case, e, and our power, 3k, is the new output. Now we can place in the last number and or variable we haven't used, negative 4. Let's verify. Let's draw that arrow from the base to the output, and set that equal to the input. We have our given, but the log form is not correct. Whoa, there is something wrong here. Let's bring back the definition. The definition of natural logarithm is natural log of x is equal to log of x of base e for every x greater than 0. What do we think is the important part here? That's right, for every x greater than 0, which means the input cannot be negative. Right now, our input is negative 4, so the answer is no solution because the input cannot be negative. And that is example 2c. Now, let's move on to d. e raised to the power of m squared is equal to 3c minus p. Luckily for us, the base remains the same. In this case, e, and our power, m squared, is the new output. Now we can place in the last number and our variable we haven't used, 3c minus p. Let's verify. Let's draw that arrow from the base to the output, and set that equal to the input. We have our given, so the natural log form is correct. Remember, we don't need to write down the base, since it is e, and that is example 2d. Now it is your turn, so go ahead and pause the video here so you can take your time to answer these questions, and I will show you the results in 3, 2, and 1. Did you get them correct? Awesome. If not, there's always tomorrow.